Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Curse of Oak Island Preview The guys have to hunker down as a hurricane threatens to destroy all their work. The Curse of Oak Island team must brace themselves as they find themselves in the path of a destructive hurricane. And there's more digging in the swamp and an analysis of samples from the Money Pit area. Tonight we'll see the History Channel Season 11, Episode 16, of The Curse of Oak Island. This episode is called Dark and Stormy, clearly a reference to the hurricane bearing down on the island. Unfortunately, the Oak Island guys are subject to the whims of Mother Nature, and the often harsh climate regularly stops them in their tracks. The team ceases operations every winter as the cold weather descends. The guys already endured flood damage at the garden shaft earlier in the season, and now it seems as though they've got a hurricane to deal with. This is likely Hurricane Idalia, which struck Nova Scotia last August, or perhaps Hurricane Lee, which hit in September. In the preview, Rick stated with plenty of dramatic emphasis, there's no denying it. This could be the most dangerous day on the island. However, the hard work continues beforehand, and viewers can expect to see a lot of digging in the swamp tonight. Last week, Billy Gerhardt's digger started pulling up a lot of old tree stumps, which could add more fuel to the theory that the marshy area was artificially created. Oak Island team hopes to learn the swamp was created in 1200 AD, the preview showed geoscientist Darian Spooner speculating that the wood could date back to 1200 AD, putting it at the same age as the paved area. One theory also puts Nolan's Cross in the same era. That would put the stumps in the same time period as the Templar Knights. Also tonight, the team has another expert in the war room who's been testing samples from the Money Pit area. It's unknown exactly which samples he'll be referring to, but it could relate to the proto-mortar soil samples recently recovered at Lot 5 and previously from the Money Pit. The Oak Island guys are always looking for links to the Templar Knights. Whatever the samples might be, the expert suggests they originate from the southeast of France. This could also be construed as a link to the homeland of the medieval order of Templar Knights. Finally, on tonight's show, Jack Begley and metal detectorist Gary Drayton find something very exciting. Viewers be warned, Gary will be doing a dance. The curse of Oak Island had always been a place of mystery, intrigue, and danger. For centuries, treasure hunters, historians, and adventurers had been drawn to its shores, captivated by the possibility of uncovering untold riches buried beneath its rugged terrain. But for Rick and Marty Lagina, along with their dedicated team of treasure hunters, the island held a special allure, a promise of discovery that had consumed them for years. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow across the island, the Lagina brothers and their team gathered around the table in the war room, poring over maps, documents, and artifacts in search of clues that might finally lead them to the elusive treasure. But their excitement was tempered by a sense of unease, a feeling that something ominous was lurking just beyond the horizon. It started as a distant rumble, barely audible over the crashing waves and howling wind. But as the minutes passed, the sound grew louder, more menacing, until finally it could no longer be ignored. The weather forecast had predicted a storm, but nobody had anticipated the ferocity of what was now bearing down on them. A hurricane of unprecedented strength, its swirling winds and torrential rains threatening to engulf the island and destroy all their hard work. With a sense of urgency, Rick and Marty sprang into action, rallying their team and making preparations to weather the storm. Equipment was hastily stowed away, valuable artifacts secured in waterproof containers, and makeshift shelters erected to provide refuge from the coming deluge. But even as they worked tirelessly to fortify their defenses, a sense of foreboding hung heavy in the air, a nagging fear that no amount of preparation could truly protect them from the wrath of Mother Nature. As the first gusts of wind whipped through the trees and rain began to pelt down in sheets, the team huddled together in the makeshift shelter of the war room, 
seeking solace in each other's company as the storm raged on outside. Hours passed in a blur of darkness and noise, the relentless pounding of rain and wind, punctuated by the occasional crash of thunder and flash of lightning. But just as it seemed that they couldn't endure another moment of the storm's fury, a sudden lull descended upon the island, the winds dying down to a mere whisper and the rain tapering off to a gentle drizzle. For a brief moment, the team dared to hope that the worst was over, that they had weathered the storm and emerged unscathed. But their relief was short-lived, for as quickly as it had abated, the storm returned with a vengeance, its fury renewed and more ferocious than ever. The makeshift shelters trembled and shook under the onslaught, threatening to collapse at any moment, while outside, the landscape was transformed into a chaotic maelstrom of wind and water. In the midst of the chaos, Rick and Marty remained resolute, their determination unshaken by the storm's fury. With steely resolve, they urged their team to stay strong, to hold fast against the relentless onslaught, and never lose hope that they would emerge victorious in the end. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the storm passed, leaving behind a trail of destruction in its wake. As the first rays of dawn broke through the clouds, the team emerged from their shelter, battered and bruised but unbowed, ready to pick up the pieces and continue the search for treasure. For though the storm had wreaked havoc on the island, it had also revealed tantalizing clues and hidden secrets, clues that would bring them one step closer to unlocking the mystery of Oak Island once and for all. And as they set out to resume their quest, the team knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, bound by a shared determination to uncover the truth no matter the cost.